assalamu alaikum guys how are you i hope you are doing good and today in this video i'm going to show you a full review of latest Huawei version uh, Huawei OS for our Redmi 5 which is the V3.2 and it is based on Android 10 its security patch is 5 february 2020 so the rom is pretty stable and working perfectly so without any further ado let's get started Let's review the room. As Huawei OS is one of my favorite custom rooms, the performance of this room is pretty much good. Everything is working fine. There is no single, uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this room. Everything is working. The room is lagless. And in the home screen, we have this pixel launcher with some minimum settings. After it, we have the widgets and styles and wallpapers. In the styles, we have four uh, styles pre installed. And in the cloaks, here we have a new cloak added, uh, which is the Samsung cloak. As you can see here, it looks pretty much good. And uh, except it, we have uh, total six clo clothes and as you can see here the Samsung cloak is working and looking really uh, beautiful as you can see here and in the wallpaper we only have this uh, single wallpaper pre-installed so the overall performance of this ROM is pretty good and the gaming performance of this ROM is also pretty good as you can see here here we have the uh, gaming mode that's when you can play the games uh, laglessly and the overall performance app opening speed of this ROM is also pretty much good as you can see here it is opening the apps quickly in the camera we have this simple camera you can also install the Gcam 5, 6 or 7 from the link in the description so now let's dig into the settings and the settings uh, all settings uh, we have all the old settings from the previous ROMs and in the customization we have the configure center in the configuration setting uh, center we have all available customization first of all we have the customization of status bar here you can customize the cloak setting and you can also enable or disable the custom logo as you can see here you can change the logo style apple uh, blackberry or any one you want from the list and then we have these gestures double tap to sleep and brightness control network indicators and battery icon style battery percentage and the status bar icons then we have some icon settings after it we have the settings of quick settings uh, then we have the screen and ambient display in the ambient display we also have the always on display uh, which is working good and looks beautiful with the samsung ambient clock and in the buttons we have settings of uh, power button and volume rocker buttons then we have the gestures here we have jump to camera system navigation and uh, prevent ringing swipe to screenshot and touch screen vibration and in the lock screen you can make changes in the lock screen like uh, you can disable uh, or enable the music visualizer uh, here we have some gesture settings and elements after it we have the notifications from here you can change the notification LED and uh, you can enable or disable the bling uh, bling for incoming calls and here we also have the uh, edge lightning which is working fine as you can see and looks uh, pretty beautiful after it we have the heads up snooze timer and uh, in call vibrations after it we have the settings of animations you can enable or disable the system animation then we have the battery saving and here we have the misc in the misc we have the gaming mode as you can see here this is the advanced gaming mode and then we have the about 
after it the battery performance of this rom is also pretty much impressive and uh, here we also have the smart charging uh, then we have the display and in the display we have the all same settings from the previous rom and then we have the sound the sound quality of this rom is also pretty good and we also have the me sound enhancer which will be helpful to enhance sound quality and in the security the fingerprint of this rom is working uh, pretty much good then we have the digital well-being google system and in the system we have the languages and input date and time backup reset option multiple users and in the about phone you can check your android version which is 10 and have a os version which is the 3.0 and its security patch is 5 february 2020 so the rom is pretty stable and recommended for daily usage so if you want to install this rom on your redmi 5 just download the rom from the link in the description uh, and gfs from the link in the description and then reboot your device into an installed custom recovery go to wipe wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card now go to install and flash the downloaded rom and gfs reboot you will be in this rom so if you like this video hit the like button don't